So, first run back on it again, it's now 20th of September, so we're getting well into late summer, early autumn, we're getting the oranges coming through in the leaves, and today we're in the Pentland Hills National Park, which is, depending on where you are in Edinburgh, only around 20 minutes outside very popular spot for mountain biking, walking and today we're on foot so today we're running in inverted commas so apparently when I fell off my bike I actually hurt myself more seriously than I had considered at the time at the time I was worried about my bleeding leg and it was certainly painful, but I landed on my shoulder. Hence, it's been a while since I've been out running. So we shall see how we got on today. But I certainly wanted to do this run for a long time. It's rather spectacular. Um, there are lots of different routes in the National Park here. You can take some gentle ones, you can take some more extreme ones, you can go paved, you can go dirt, and there are uh, Iron Age hill forts in these hills that you can go and walk around, there's working farms with beef and sheep, and then at the bottom of this road that I've just come out, there is a cafe and a pub. Some for everyone. So we've got a storm coming in. Uh, I've been told coming in this later this evening but should be worse tomorrow. So it is getting a lot windier than it's been. We have to get 50 mile per hour winds in the next couple of days. Another reason why I really had to get out this morning and get on with it. So if you continue up the road to your right, you go to the reservoir, there's a great walk around the reservoir and back. It's around 10k. But today, we're going to have a look at what's left. And we're aiming for this Scald Law, which is a hill for it. I think actually Scald Law is a hill, but there is a hill for it. And it's at the top of this, which possibly on the GoPro isn't as steep as it actually is. I may have to, whoa, yeah, I may have to uh, put my hat on backwards because it's windy around here so as usual, oh there's a pheasant in the field over there I don't know if you can see that, a male it is certainly windy Oh, 
going to start a little bit of an ascent I'm going to turn my heart around because the wind is going to take that off my heat right. Let's try a little jog So it's warm down here but I'm still wearing a hoodie, t-shirt and a jacket because I suspect when I get up the top or nearer the top the temperature may well plummet now I didn't check before I came out I checked the weather conditions were okay visibility's good uh, and as I say I know about the winds coming in as you can hear That's enough running for a while. Oh. Oh. This is a great lung buster. So today is going to be short, a short distance run. But we've still got two more hills to climb yet. And we'll take in the view. Feel like my quarters. The 
Pentland Way. And a calcitrant gate. So, if you come, and I thoroughly I'd suggest that you do, make sure you lock or shut these gates because these are still live farms and we have right of access with the permission of the farmer so keep the gates shut keeps the beasts in and if it says keep your dog in the lead keep your dog in the lead you can see also there's no litter here. It's awesome. So, a little hillock is done, and we're now climbing up this mama jamma. You probably noticed the camera has slowed down. So have I, appreciably. This is a bit of a walk. It's a plane coming in Edinburgh Airport. Very small area. Now we're very far from the flight path. I love these divots. Some people have made with a shorter stride length than me. We'll get another take in of the scenery because I'm knackered. You can see not a lot of clout, uh, um, cover up here, very exposed. It's not something you want to do in the winter unless you've got some serious kit. So it's a bit hazy, but you can see the sea and Edinburgh only just, but it's there just over that first hill and into the valley or the, the plain down to sea. And the flag up the hill there shows the artillery range, the boundaries of it. A lot of army training exercises are done here because of its inhospitable but still easily accessed. Gins. This seemed like such a good idea from the ground. I can see why people built their forts up here and they weren't forts is probably a misnomer what we call hill forts and when you think of a fort you think of you know the Alamo or Fort Apache or something like that 
where it's a defensive structure there to protect against other tribes or invasion peoples and from here you would get plenty of warning even if boats landed on the Edinburgh coast but these were we think more likely to be not quite ceremonial structures but the they're more like the grand house it's look how big and powerful I am that I can command labour to build this and still feed my population they were used as festival sites so in inverted commas they were as much churches as hill forts and you could certainly see if you're walking your cattle up here in the summer to jump through the Beltane fires and then have a feast my god you would have earned it especially if you're lugging a barrel of ale or something because there's no water up here which is another reason why we don't believe they were forts in the traditional sense although they could be retreated into and held some of them some of the ones like Tremontium can't remember the name of the fort itself but down the three hills it's just too big it's way too big you would need thousands of men horses fodder food water uh, and then if you're defending I say men as well that's people uh, to defend structures like this it's not really very practical I mean you can hear how pecked I am coming up this hill and I'm only carrying myself in a GoPro now I don't spend all day in the fields doing manual labour so I'm not as fit by anywhere close to it and I know some people that run up here and I mean run but even so the general population is not going to come up here in a hurry and it's a good reason and it does have a kind of mystical journey feel to it you know walking up here to see the hermit or the shaman or priest or whatever it would lend itself to that in the human psyche so I tend to agree with the interpretation of ceremony rather than defence that's enough goddamn talking I tell you sheltered from the wind eh? which is good but I'm barely stumbling along now I'm so slow you can see Edinburgh clearly on now
these sycamores are quite hardy they're managing to survive in this windy space It's not the Rockies But Splendid nonetheless And as I say it's accessibility From Edinburgh The nation capital It's unparalleled And you can do A lot Higher hills Ben Loman, Ben Nevis Ben Loman is an easy one to do but it's still a good hour from Glasgow and two hours from here assuming traffic is kind to you Ben Nevis, much further up on the Highland Fault Line What a vantage point to have signal fires or just communication network. These are all summer grazing for pastures. Very soon sheep will get herded, rounded up and taken to the fields lower down where they'll graze on the winter pasture <laughs> because they'll be quite exposed up here in another month or six weeks have a look over here There's the flags for the army range And then this is just Moorland There's the reservoir I was talking about And then we've got Pennycook over there However Let's go for a climb because we've not done that for a while. <coughs> That's the thing about these hills. I've done them once before. Well, a couple of times walking, but I've done this a kind of more strenuous one once before. And each time you think you've got to the taller of the two peaks that you see in front of you, you get to it and you go, oh, there's one behind it and it's taller. I'll just do one more. A friend of mine and I went running after work one day and came up here and did exactly that and by the time we had done just one more we realised we kind of getting dark and we, we've only gone a straight line away from our cars we probably turned went down to the foot of the hill and ran back along the road to go back to the car it was dark With any hills or mountains, weather changes in the You can see the, the mist is beginning to burn off. The sun is trying to do its job. If I'd known I was going this slow, I'd have put my hiking boots on.
of sheep dung about. If you're stuck, that makes a good fuel. Here though, I have no idea. With no tent, this would be miserable. <sighs> Having said that, there's a patch of trees right there, and I just walked through a patch. I don't know exactly where you would chill through here. It would still be pretty miserable, especially for a toonie like me. I can almost breathe. Normally, I prefer running uphill to downhill. I find running downhill harder on my knees and hips also more difficult to halt my momentum or cope with lumpy terrain today I feel like I might just sit in my arse and slide down I will admit though the view is really good so there's our target Scaldlaw on top of this hill Whoop. I'll send a picture to my wife who is in London today and not getting the benefit of this and then we shall turn and make our way back down that's the plan the reality is we go as far as my legs will let us splits but this steeper one unfortunately looks like it's going the way we want today incidentally there's a great book Scottish trail runs you can buy from booksellers on Amazon for sure and it has routes up here that are graded moderate easy hard you know so you can still explore even if you're not as physically fit I mean let's face it I'm an overweight middle aged man and I'm coping with frequent stops and I'm kidding myself on it to admire the view
Ух. This is almost like flat ground up here. How wonderful. I don't have to be a goat any longer. are cold now I feel it. but to secure my hat and to keep my hair from flopping about all over the place Clothing readjustment, we shall edit that out. Second reservoir down there. Again, that road going to the beginning.
wind. of the gravel path a bit a bit. Somewhat very old, even if it's only temporarily. No backpack today, so no snacks and no water. I fondly thought I would be back down at the inn or the cafe by the time I needed something sustaining that was not good to do what to do with the drink now I am glad I put my tights on today though I did feel a bit odd at the foothills running in my tights. Felt overdressed. It's down there, it's about 14 degrees Celsius, which is still short weather really for exercising. But up here, substantially cooler. As I say, didn't check the temperatures, just dressed for wind chill really. One other person. Too steep, slow down. Too loose underfoot as well. This machines get walking sticks. That's a good idea. Sorry, ladies and gents, while I pull up my trousers, which are deciding at this very moment to fall. Uh, this was a Poor root selection, I'm suggesting. So we go very slow down here. And I may just sit down and hello, this year's lungs. Oh yes. Three points of contact with the ground at the moment. And I'm about to go down on my bum after all. 
because I picked a very poor route down here. <laughs> Not done this since I was a kid. Although there's a good wee seat here. Right, I think we're over the worst of it, and these tussocks where the mud has slipped in less clement weather. I'd like to set of steps. Steep steps, with the risk of death and injury at the bottom, but you know. Oh, I take my hood off now. I would rather have been traversing this uh, zigzag fashion. But this is what happens when I go with too much speed. So we'll take this drainage channel to the left and then cut right on my less steep. drainage channel it's obviously run off it's not it's not been cut it's not man-made well I did this TEDx trail shoes today I'm very grateful to them the grip on them is awesome I'm not quite mountain goat I was hoping to be but the shoes at least are not letting me down even if I'm letting the shoes down <laughs> not the most dignified descent who cares I'm so impressed with these T-Rex shoes that I donated my second pair, my backup pair, which are Mizuno. Nothing against Mizuno, but these have them beaten. I have Mizuno road shoes, which I really enjoy running in on terrain like that. And I enjoyed running in my trail shoes. However, I always bought Gore-Tex trail shoes to keep my feet dry. Then discovered that that's never happened. When I thought about every trail run I've ever done, I've come back with wet feet. Gore-Tex is obviously a very good material, but it's not good if it goes, you know, you jump in a puddle, it goes over your ankle. And then once the water's in, it doesn't escape. So, this summer I changed to these trail shoes, which are mesh, and just consign myself that I'm going to get wet feet. But I'd rather have wet feet that dry rapidly than ones that I'm running about in with the water trapped inside the shoe. Hence, the Mizunos had to go. Oh, here's a wee walking party now. You hear the rifle range there? Stick to the grass. Morning.
I can't talk and concentrate at the same time. I'm trying very hard not to fall over there as that group of walkers went up the path and I stuck to the grass. And I have to be honest, I don't think the path is that much better. Yeah, I'll slightly better. again I will also have pulls just for that extra point of contact with the ground when you're descending these steep slopes of course you could continue on and there's a more gentle descent over the back of these hills over here and then down towards Pennycook and the valley there but I don't like the easy way and my scabbed over knee has held up nicely and my shoulder isn't paining me I'm aware of it but it's not as bad as it was last weekend even thing I'd advise is make sure you've got the right size shoes on you want plenty of room in your toe box when you're descending like this well your heel is still snug in the back of the shoe Shooting going on at the rifle range. And by the sound of the volley fire, I suspect it's army training rather than a group who fired it. And coming up, this felt steep going down. It feels almost civilised.
That's probably a bad idea going up this bit. So I've got to come down the other side. But I need the full experience. It's a short descent. My legs are burning now from the angle. Stumbling, soaking. Nice flat run now. Back to the car. And we're done. Lots of people still find the camera on my chest rather odd. You know what strange looks still. I wonder if that will change.
Oh, that's tipped off. Let's not go that way then. Must be doing some work at the cafe. Done. 